Good afternoon, folks. I'm going to show you something I just installed on the tailgate of my 2020 Ford F-150. All right, these are the manganese steel uh, molly panels. Very sturdy, very heavy duty. This one's marked driver for the driver's side. This one's marked passenger for the passenger side. So these are the stock screws, these two here. Uh, and there's two, there's two panels um, split right in the middle. So I had to remove these with a T25 star bit, which looks like uh, this one right here. Uh, it's not an Allen head. It's not a hex head. It is a T25 star bit. And then this is what those stock uh, screws look like. So I had to take those out and then um, two additional um, factory screws. And you wind up with having four left because they give you some uh, long screws like this right here with washers and then a spacer that's actually about twice this size to fit in that gap right there, about an inch. Um, and then there's two of those uh, other screws, one here, well, here, and then another, oh, right here. So um, it's attached with these two screws here, these two screws here, and then I wound up drilling for the holes here, uh, two one-eighth inch holes, and then they give you some real heavy-duty uh, Phillips head screws with washers to attach those there, because I didn't want to have just the the two screws here and, and here. I didn't want to have this backside or bottom edge floppy. But anyway, supposedly this will hold up 300 pounds. I don't know if that's 150 per side or 300 per side, but um, just so you know, that right here in the middle, there is uh, a brace full length that runs just like this one right here from end to end. You know, it's welded on there. So that same type of brace is right here and then here at the edge as well. So there's three braces on each edge. So what I have on here, um, these are tourniquets. These are molly type pouches with the webbing that weaves in and, in and out of these things and then snaps to itself. Um, this is just Velcro webbing that uh, actually came with it, a roll of it. And then these are Velcro straps that have buckles on them. They're nylon with Velcro. And then these are shovels for metal detecting and prospecting. Big heavy duty flashlight. And then these lights are for, um, like if you get a flat tire or you're helping somebody with a flat tire, you could set them up for just uh, making people aware that there's a road hazard going on. And these are magnetic. It's a uh, manganese steel, very lightweight, but very heavy duty. And then on this side, I have another tourniquet with uh, some EMT shears. So um, yeah, here's like the one eighth inch bit that I used to drill these other four holes along the bottom. Get all this stuff out of the way here. Now this is a molly type bag that you can uh, put on here and you know weave these straps in and out of these uh, holes right here and then snap it to itself and you could put you know small flares uh, off-road recovery gear first aid kit whatever you want to have in there um, so i have the deck system in my tr truck with the drawers so the space right here is limited actually of stuff that I could have here. I can't put anything too much thicker than this because it'll bump into this. But as you, you saw in the beginning of the video, it fits just fine. Now, again with the deck system, um, I can pull the drawer out, but not with all this stuff on here. If I wanted to do that, and just keep in mind if you wanna Get one of these if you're getting in and out of the box all the time. You may have to 
remove stuff. That's how the Molly thing goes in there, weaves in and out. And since these shovels are long enough to take up both sides. All right, so here is how the drawer system clears that with at least half an inch to go. And these things, they're sturdy, so it's, I don't think any, there's any way it's going to rub on there. But even if it did, it's still going to slide. Right there. So just something to keep in mind if you have the deck system that these, uh, it will clear these panels, which is a great thing. Uh, but if you need to get into the drawer and pull it out, you may have to move your stuff to do that. Now, there is a little bit of space over here where you wouldn't have to um, take the stuff off. So that first aid kit, that bag. Where'd it go? So this bag would be perfect right here, actually with the zipper this way. So you could um, weave those into those slots right there, snap it to itself, and then keep stuff here. And then on this side, uh, not too much. There's one row, so it might be tough keeping something there. You could probably keep something in the middle. Um, like those would fit just fine. But if the stuff that's in your uh, drawer system the stuff that you have just in case of emergency once in a while and it's not likely that you're going to need it, then um, definitely this is a great, great option to have to uh, put stuff that you do need more often, uh, getting it out of the vehicle, and you just want to have it handy like this. It's, it's better to carry this here than in the drawer system because sometimes I keep that locked and I have to, you know, fill around, find the key, get the key, open it up, and then find the thing. But here I just open up my the uh, tailgate and here it is and actually i don't even have to open the tailgate i just open up the this here the door to the back of the camper and then look straight down and, and it's going to be right there and i'll show you that right here is the tourniquet with the tailgate closed i could find it even and the flashlight so folks that's the review uh i like it it's very sturdy makes it look tactical i guess um i still haven't decided what i'm gonna keep here or how i'm gonna keep it on there if it's gonna be with molly or with elastic bungees or whatever but it is a very cool system very heavy duty there's like no flex if you pull up on this it uh makes the the, the whole truck move so all righty thanks for watching you guys have a great day and goodbye